Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. And as you can see, we did a little bit of a paint job here on the kumquat tree, which now looks very much like a cherry tree. Which I think is what we need to do in order to get Washington to cut it down. Now, I'm, I don't think that is going to provide the wood for John Hancock's fire, but I think that's going to give us access to something else... I think another time period, if memory serves. So let's talk to old Georgie here. Uh, excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Now, I think we need to go ahead and hurt Washington's pride here as to his cherry tree cutting prowess. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. Huzzah! In one stroke, too. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Ow! There's some... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. So we should have access to Laverne, who has a very, very hard head. Holy crap. Scratch one kumquat tree. And sadly, it doesn't look like we can use the tree to uh, for Hancock's fire. Let's go ahead and head back to Bernard. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Yeah, no pressure there. Get me out of here. I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner, getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> All right, so we need, what did we need for, what were the plans? Now it's, it's easy to switch back and forth between the two. Um, it was the letter, the brush, Bernard. Oh, I know we needed vinegar and something else. Let's go ahead and search the wretch, re, the wretch, <laughs> the rest of the mansion here. First, let's talk to Dr. Fred. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science. I figured Fred would be very, very proud of that fact. Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond! Now where am I going to get the money? I thought you were rich. Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh. If 
only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident where I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Ooh. Okay, well, we do have a time machine. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. Don't. That's, that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Huh. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. <laughs> well, gotta go save the world. Good luck. So that was a nice little reference to um, the Family Channel Maniac Mansion series. I think it was for like one season. It was very, very loosely based off the video game. And we got the Dark Passage here. Um, I think we need to head this way. Oh lord, the Practical Joker Convention. Ozu the Clown. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Uzo. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. I hate that clown. Well, now we know who the boss is. Hmm. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Can we open it? Ah. Alrighty. And... Nothing we can particularly do, it looks like. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Alrighty. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Pardo? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charlie Parker. So, oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Yuck, yuck. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. Indeed. That cracks me up every time. So we got the cigar lighter, the table covered with junk, disgusting mounds of part of party garbage. I was about to say potty garbage. Vat of teeth. Hey there. Come here, you. Oh, that's why we have the grate. 
Already. Awesome. We gotta chase this. Right there we go. Yoink. Rap sheet thief. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and... Whoa! Head up to the roof. I guess that makes sense since Bernard is a little bit uh, of the slimmer variety than Hoagie. I know, I know what we need to do with the teeth, but let's talk to the cigar salesman again. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Hmm. So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. So, want another cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. Stay in school, kids. So we've got the teeth. Teeth is good. Let's head into the swinging door. And we've got the microwave decaf coffee. We're going to grab that. And the regular coffee as well. And we've got a fork. I know there's some red herrings in this game, like stuff Actually, you'll... I'd call this more of a freak. That we'll never use, but we might as well grab all the things. And... There we go. And the laundry. There used to be a lot more to this mansion. Who knows what surprise? Who knows what surprises await inside? Survey says we got a funnel. Alrighty, and a washer. It looks pretty broken. This is as open as it gets. What about the dryer? Nothing in there of account. It looks like. You put quarters into the dryer there. So it's something we may have to get a little bit later. Alright. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. And so it begins. So I believe if we head outside... We're going to meet a new character. Huh. Hey there, Ted. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? At least he's not in the shower anymore. Because he was in the shower in the first game. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Hmm. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. <laughs> Indeed. Now we got the mailbox. Fortunately, we can't ring the doorbell anymore. And the parking lot. There we go. Man in ski mask. Now, this must be the old weird Edsel. It's really dirty. Yes, it is. I think it's locked. He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Makes perfect sense. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. 
I like the nice, uh, subtle Jack Nicholson voice. See you later. Yeah. Alright, so let's head back to the motel. And we will check out the upper levels. Now remember, in uh, Ned and Jed doing what we did um, with the sculpture, something changed up here in Edna's room. We just have to discover what exactly we have to do there. It's pretty darn cold. Alrighty. The honeymoon suite. Ooh. Oh lord. Hopefully there's uh, just one and not one under. So we got surveillance camera. Oh, the keys are in the door. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. For the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All right. Fickle Fingers coin slot. That's for the vibrating bed. And I think we need to do that in order to get him to move so we can grab the sweater. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. This looks very similar to Edna's room in the first game. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. So, struck out there, currently. And we got a candy machine here. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Yum. Room 101. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Takes care of the earwax, though. So we got a phone, leftovers, a TV set, picture of dogs playing poker, a mouse hole, disappearing ink, which I know that we need to get. So, yoink. Let's talk to Dwayne here. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne, isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I know what we need to do with Dwayne here. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Okay. Never mind. So Dwayne's just going to sit here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and take care of that while I because I otherwise I'm going to forget it. We'll head back to Hoagie. And we've got the letter that says that we love your what was it? 
You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Indeed. So we'll go ahead and flush it down the chronogon. Okay, I flushed it. And switch back to Bernard. And then we can go ahead and uh, make Dwayne's day a little bit brighter. And also, we might as well go ahead and uh, give Doc Fred the decaf coffee so the dreams will happen. Yoink. All right, so decaf coffee. Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick me up. Indeed. <laughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. I like how he has to sleepwalk in order to get those values. Well, let's uh head here to the office. There's a lot to do in this game between all three time periods. Ah, okay, so he gets freaked out, and he oh. almost took my hand off with the door. Hmm. I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. So, what do we do here? It's Doctor Fred's desk. It's Doctor Fred's desk. We got the help wanted, the dime. Booby gone, the textbook. The fork? I guess we could I'd rather not. Alright. Well we'll just leave Fred here for now. Cause he will be I mean he hasn't slept in two years. He has a lot of catching up to do. In the meantime, we will uh give Dwayne a little bit of hope. False hope, but hope nonetheless. I'm just a failure. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Eh, probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I also wanted uh, for you guys who haven't noticed that that was the same model as Hancock, just like the guy in the uh, conference or the in the big area with all the practical joke stuff is Franklin. So we will grab. When you pull the trigger. A humorous flag is propelled out of the barrel on a stick and unfurls. Joyous. So we will grab that. I don't know. We have to come back in here. But I do know where we use the gun, and that's back over with, uh, not Ben Franklin. Just have to determine, like, where what goes, you know? Alright, so we will switch... The flag gun with the cigar lighter. Look, a three-headed monkey. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Now, let's see if we can, uh... I don't, I'm not sure what this does exactly. Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Heavens no. I don't get it. And we'll just go ahead and keep that. Get lost, kid. He doesn't like having the uh, joke turned on him. Now then. 
I think what we need to do is send some stuff to Hoagie. So we can get Hancock's fire going. We need to send the cig- It doesn't seem to open. We need to send the cigar. How exactly do we do that? Exploding cigar with... yeah. And I'm not sure about the lighter. We'll go ahead and send that as well. And... oh, it's one thing at a time. Ah. Alright. We will grab said exploding cigar. And I think there's one more thing we need to send Hoagie, and that is the Chattering Teeth. Because Washington should be able to light his own cigars, I'm thinking. Alrighty. So let's head back. We can explore the rest of the modern day mansion with uh, Bernard in the next episode. I know we still have some classic characters from Maniac Mansion to speak to. But we have to get rid of his original teeth. In terms of Washington here. I don't wanna. Oh, sure you do, Hoagie. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? No. Pity. Oh, crap. Well, I guess we do have to. One sec. Actually, I'm going to see if we can speed things up just a little bit, because if we right-click on that and give Cigar Lighter to Hoagie... There's something in the Chronogon. Excellent. That's a much faster way of going about it. Alrighty. And then we're back to uh, where I had before I wanted to double-check on that. That keeps us from having to go back and forth and back and forth. I'm just, I don't, I think Washington would be somewhat uh, worried that we were pulling out some sort of futuristic looking firearm at him and would deal with us appropriately. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Incoming. Wait for it. <laughs> Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. And then we go in here and offer him the chattering teeth. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. I doubt hey, it. Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh. I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Oi. And <laughs> two hours later, and this is how our country was formed. You big baby. All right, guys. Well, we will go ahead and end it here. We're making progress. If you like the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.